lower one, it says collapse and I'm back yet again playing Sevtech Ages. And in between episodes, I did a fair amount. I played for about two hours. I got some stuff done. You can see here I got some passive animals. I got them kind of all penned up here in a nice stone or cobblestone wall pens there. But uh, before I even get to that, I wanted to just say, hey, everyone, I'm having a great day. I hope you guys all are out too. Seriously, I love this pack. This has been a great pack so far. Just like even when I'm just doing stuff in between the episodes, even though it's taking some time, I'm having a great time doing it. So hope you guys are too. But uh, over here, I got horses. I went and grabbed horses over there. It wasn't too far. Um, <laughs> just over there. Just yeah, I have no idea. It was just over across the river. It wasn't too far away. Had to do two trips, but I grabbed the ones with the highest health I could get. I don't think it really matters. It's not like they're going to be war horses marching in combat. I just figured I'd grab them because I could see their hearts right away. Uh, over here, we got cows. That was pretty simple. And uh, I can actually do that. You can actually pick them up, which is actually kind of funny because... When you pick them up, one, they kind of shrink a little bit, and two, you end up with uh, cow butt in your face, which is <laughs> kind of humorous. I'm simple, I know. Anyway, definitely a thing. We need to kind of take these guys. The reason I want them so badly is uh, we need to turn them into buffalo for the totemic mod. So we're going to get some buffalo today, which should be pretty neat. And uh, I don't think I did anything out here. I did make a lot more uh, leather. I got that done. I also had to make a second saddle, obviously, kind of get that done. Uh, I had my kiln and my, what was the other thing, the grill out here, until a creeper kind of came along, and uh, I was inside just crafting chests, all peaceful, just minding my own business, and then there was a large explosion, I heard the hiss, and it scared the utter heck out of me, so I moved them inside, actually, the kiln got blown up, I had to remake the kiln, it did not blow up any of my chests, likely, but I got them up here now, just for a little more safety, which is definitely a thing. Uh, I did find some sugar cane, so that wasn't too bad, and I've been farming that, and uh, I just moved my uh, TP over there, so that is pretty much everything I did, I guess, except for this. I actually have a second one right here. This is the Work Stump Mark II, so the MK2, and uh, it is an upgraded version. This one can actually do, you can put like multiple recipes into it at the same time, and just keep hitting with st stone, it'll just kind of pump them out, right? So the slots can hold up to a stack of items. So you could do, you know, 64 of an item at the same time. It saves a lot of time. Really like that. Anyway, that is pretty much everything I did. Oh, I should point out too. This one here, uh, this isn't a big deal. The shelf. Well, the shelf, I think, is actually better than the immersive chest. So this is from Immersive Craft 2. But this shelf actually just sits on the wall. And it doesn't open and close. I actually, if I knew about this one early on, I don't know if you have access on it, access to it right away. But if you do, I would have actually probably done that one. Anyway, it takes a specific wood, though, is the only kind of thing with these. I thought I'd point that out. And then I had to make a second one. Well, I had, a, had to make a second work stump to do this, so I figured I'd just make a second one. So when I need one, I have it. Anyway, that is that. And okay, let's take a look at what we're going to get to today. The first thing we're going to get to, I think, is going to be totemic. And then probably after that, some horsepower and probably this jazz up here, which is the carts and stuff. So we'll kind of see how far we get. But we have to do totemic. It's kind of a magic mod. It's kind of magic with... Uh, music? It's kind of like, I think the power is kind of like, uh, in the book, it said something about music medley. So I did go ahead and already make the book. Uh, after I made it, I kind of mentioned someone, I was looking at this mod, and they said, after you do the first quest, you get a book. So I, <laughs> I'm going to end up with two of the books. But if you kind of want to look at the book before you do it, you have to do the plant cloth, which was just twine. Nine twine, do that, and any sapling, you'll get your totem, to what is it? Totempedia? Yeah. But uh, it has a bunch of stuff in here. Um, it does the magic with the, with the instruments. Well, we have to make some instruments here in a second. But there's also totems, which give you... They're kind of like beacons, but very short range. Um, also, my... He's not. But uh, my zombies. I'm starting to see ones with yellow belts. <laughs> they actually get more difficult as you play the pack. And, uh, yeah, they get better belts and stuff. I thought that was kind of humorous. But, uh, I'm going to sleep really quick. And uh, we're going to do some crafting. And then uh, we're going to get to turn them into buffalo. So let's get that done. First thing we're going to need here is, well, it says craft a rattle, a flute, and a drum. We also need chimes. I'm aware of that, so we're going to get that done as well. We need some sticks. Uh, I did try to organize a little better. Probably need that, too, because I don't think I have any flint. Uh, I'm going to need flake flint, I think. String, I think. We needed sugar cane. And was there anything else? I think a bone. I have bones right here. There we go. We're good to go. So let's take a look at that. So the first thing was a rattle. So we need a rattle. It's got a funky little face on it. Needs these jingles. Oh, uh, that takes three bones in itself. I might not have enough. 
I keep getting confused by the sharp bone. <laughs> because I'm just simple. And uh, yeah, I keep trying to use it for stuff. It's kind of funny. Anyway, I don't know if it's funny or just sad, actually. Let's uh, put that in there. There we go. Smash that with a rock. And uh, we should have a jingle here. There we go. And uh, we should be able to craft that in our inventory. Okay. Next thing we needed was the flute. So let's take a look at the flute here. The flute needs three sugar cane and a grass. Okay. Let's go grab grass real quick. Did not notice that. Let's uh, open that. There we go. And hopefully there's no creepers or anything around. They blew up down here actually as well. I haven't died yet since early in the pack. I died once early in the pack and I haven't died since. I've been pretty lucky. I've been staying indoors a lot. Oh, uh, cheers. Right there. Can I get that? No, that's not going to work. That's not going to work either. Third time's a charm. Good thing there wasn't only one grass in my world. <laughs> anyway, let's head inside. Make a flute, and then we're going to make some drums, I think. I think I already know the drum recipe. So, that's not too bad. Uh, let's go there. Grab our sugar cane. Yeah, and depending, I've heard some people saying they're having a hard time finding sugar cane. I, I've seen it like three times. I, I didn't grab it the first times because I didn't even think. But anyway, there's our float. Um, infused. We don't need that one. What was the drums? I want to look real quick because I think it's just that. Yeah, okay. Let's get that done. Now, I'm going to make several of the drums. And the drums kind of make making the, like, casting the magic easier. I just call it ma magic, but it's really just music. And, uh, yeah, it is magic music, I guess. <laughs> Let's uh, get some drums done. I'm going to do like five because it makes it kind of really easy. I know some people are kind of having trouble doing the whole music ritual. But, uh, I find doing it with a whole bunch is pretty easy. So let's get that done. Uh, what else do we need here? Well, we need the stone, obviously. And you can see how this works, too. You just kind of hold down your stone. keeps making it. And uh, that is pretty sweet in itself. And there we go. We got a second book as uh, foretold by the Emperor. <laughs> we'll just call the person the Emperor for that sake. Let's go ahead and uh, make a chime. This one wasn't part of the quest, but we're going to need it for the next one. There we go. Let's go. There, there. And the two string, right? And we should be done, I hope. <laughs> then we can go get this going. I have so Oh, I just did it again with the bone tool. Stop that. Just stop it, man. Uh, get stuff done right. That is not a bone at all. There we go. Go you there. And there we go. Now we got our chimes. And uh, we got some wood, right? I got that. I think I also need some oak wood. So let's grab that. And oh yeah, we need one more thing too. What's that called? It was called the, I think, whittling knife is what it is. This thing here. Yes, right there. Need one of those. Because we need a totem to kind of get this working. So we're going to head out here, go to the cows, kind of get something set up here. And uh, kind of get it done. Should only take a couple seconds. That shouldn't be a big deal, so... First thing we need is the totem. Totem, and like I said, is kind of a short area effect kind of beacon. A little odd, but uh, yeah, we're going to kind of build this six tall, because that is the maximum height. So that'll work there. Uh, you can kind of get more buffs on it the taller it is. I could put more of them around here. But I think you just need one here for the ritual. So yeah, I'm just going to do max one. Where's my whittle knife, man? Right there. There we go. The bottom part, you could, if you kind of aim at a piece of wood, or actually just select it, I guess. Tells you what's selected. Right now it's saying totem base. The base has to be a totem base. So let's do that. Then after that you can kind of. Think shift right click. Yes. Yeah, so depending on what you pick. Each one of these is kind of a different buff. So like I think like Enderman is night vision. I think I saw that one. Let's do that. Let's look at the book real quick. Kind of look at the uh, different totems here. But I think yeah we got night vision now. Let's go to totems and effects. Go to totem effects. Let's see your bat, negate fall damage, gives you fire resistance. We'll probably get a blaze. Buffalo, no. Cow gives you resistance. I may take that one. Enderman. So let's let's get cow. Horse. Ocelot sounds good too. Prevent creepers from uh, exploding. So cow. Cow, horse, ocelot. Anything else? Wolf. Okay. Let's go with that. You. Horse, ocelot, wolf, and please buffalo, cow. I didn't get cow, right? I have no idea. <laughs> you can see there, we get a whole lot of buffs, but it's very short range. So I think even at this distance, this, 
I think even at this distance, nope, that it'll go that far. <laughs> but it's not very far at all. Yeah, they're all gonna fall off there now. So very short range, but uh, pretty cool nonetheless. It's kind of odd that it doesn't actually like. I wish the dev would get someone to make up some blocks and make this, you know, look like the animal you carve it into. You know what I mean? Just kind of add some kind of texture to it. Cause this is a little plain. You know what I mean? You can't even tell what's really there with uh, what we have. Um, let's go and kind of set the rest of this up though. So we're gonna need the drums down. Let's kind of guess go about like this. And like that. I'm going to put the drums like, <laughs> not like that at all. Go here and put that here. There we go. Next thing we need to do is get the chimes up. So I suppose we'll do that. The chimes need, uh, I believe, two spaces of kind of air below them to work. And they just kind of produce, I believe, kind of musical energy kind of passively. But uh, we need them for this particular ritual. So I'm going to show you how the rituals kind of work because they're a little odd. Because, uh, how to get them started. So, let's go back here. Let's go here. There. Let's go to ceremonies. And go down to, which one is it? The one we need right away. There's quite a few. But there's the Mandan Buffalo Dance. You kind of read down below here. Ceremony is able to give the strength to nearby cows and turn them into buffaloes. Although a weaker kind than those that were once native. But they will grow larger and stronger over time. That's fantastic. But it says here, music selectors well musical selectors you need to hit a drum and then hit a wind chime so the way to actually start this this kind of you know ritual is to well get an empty hand is usually the easiest way shift right click the drum shift right click the chimes and we get this bar here and at this point because i have all these drums i can just kind of go in all insane <laughs> and uh get this done i should come on they have kind of like a diminishing return thing. But, uh, there we go. He turned into a buffalo. Two of them turned into a buffalo. So that is exactly what you want there. So you notice there was two bars there. The bottom one is kind of a timer. And the top one is kind of like your musical medley um, power energy. I really don't know how to say it. But, uh, that's kind of how that works. So we need to do this again because I believe we can only do two at a time. But, uh, we're going to select that. And then just kind of go ham. You can use other instruments, but honestly, drums, ma'am, seems to work. So, it's just uh, the easy way to do it. That way you don't have to worry about rhythm or anything, any of that jazz. Just kind of hammer it out. And uh, there we go, we got a bunch of buffaloes here. These ones are just babies, and they're actually kind of hilarious. Their heads are so massive. Those poor little things. Can we pick them up? We can do. <laughs> so, I can't actually get the quest from this right now. So I think we have to um, kill the buffaloes <laughs> to get uh, drops on them. I can't even remember what it was. Go here. I think we actually need the teeth. I think the teeth is going to do it. I, it might be the hide too. I'm not sure. I looked at the at that them both. I didn't see anything special for the hide. I saw a recipe for the teeth. So teeth. Let's go here. Teeth right here. Bam. I think we actually need this in a bit too. Yeah, we need four of these for gear. And uh, that gear is actually coming up not too far in the carts and the horsepower stuff. So I think we're going to kind of leave them and then get into the horsepower mod and start working on that and let these guys grow up, come back, and we can finish that quest later. And okay, I went ahead and crafted up the next three machines. I actually forgot to hit the record button is what I actually did because I'm derp. But uh, I made the horse press, I made the horse grindstone, and I made the horse chopping block. Had to make a bunch more leads because, uh, yeah, they, each one takes two. But, uh... Not a big deal. We have the leather. The machines were really actually just basic. Just simple as heck. So nothing special at all. So we got those done. I do kind of want to automate them too. So I'm going to grab some chests and probably at least one. I don't have that many chests. And, uh, oh, I need two more chests actually. Okay. We're going to do something else too. Because I actually, I want to make the card as well, right? So we might as well get that done. I'm going to at least record that, right? Because... <laughs> I already messed up once, but uh, yeah, we got to make two wheels. I actually already saw the recipe for the wheels, so it was uh, pretty basic. So let's grab that, grab you, and uh, call that a day right there. We've got two whole wheels. Look at that. Fantastic. And what do we actually need for the cart? So the cart. So this cart, I'm pretty sure we can just attach to a horse, kind of lug it around and make it do stuff we want, which is something I want to try out, <laughs> especially when I want I go to move my base, right? Sounds like it'd be a really amazing thing to have, so I'm gonna 
give it a go. Well, at least in a pack like this. Other packs, not so much when you actually have proper inventories. But anyway, let's do that. Not that I'm selecting the pack. I expected it. <laughs> let's do that. Let's go here. And uh, that and that. I think that's everything we need for the cart. That was it, right? Yes, we got a cart. Sweet. Look at that. Awesome. So, we have cart. We have that. We have that. Uh, we're going to need some hoppers. So, I think the hoppers take the basic chest. I think that's what I saw. Yes, they're going to need the basic chest. So, we're going to need probably two. I'm just going to automate one machine. Just to... Well, I want to see if I can automate one machine, I guess is what I should say. Just to make sure they're automatable. Because you never know with these low-tech mods. Um, what was I doing? Oh, that's totally wrong. <laughs> Let's pull that for a sec. I need empty hand. Put those there. And then make a little ring of stuff and things. Get ourselves two of these chests. I'll be some happy when I'm done crafting these chests, I tell ya. There and there. Fantastic. There you go. And uh, I guess we could just immediately turn those in the hoppers. And then we can move on. And uh, yeah, we got three machines there. We got the grinder. So that one's going to be, well, the horse grind. Uh, what is it called? The horse grindstone? Yeah, that one's going to be able to be just, uh, I'm pretty sure. I know it's automated. I just don't know if we can hot, uh, hopper things in and out. I know the horse is going to kind of automatically do things for us. I just don't know if we can pull things in and out of the uh, machines kind of automatically. I guess, guess is what I'm trying to say. If that even makes sense at all. I should eat two. I haven't really been paying attention to my nutrition very much, although it should be going up fairly steady. Not too much. I haven't been touching vegetables. Apparently you have to get over, I think, 90% to actually um, get it to get a benefit from it, right? Uh, let's see here. I want to grab a couple more things before we go, actually, because right now we have nothing to um, really test it on. The first thing I really want to go for is the wood chopper, actually. Let's grab that, because uh, that'll save me a ton of time. I'm pretty sure this wood chopper, chopper, if you go to it, where is it? Horse chopping block. Go there. I think it, yeah, it quadruples the wood. So it actually gives you a nice bonus there. Even sticks gives you a good amount of sticks. There's 83 recipes in this. What else does it chop? I'm curious if it's just all wood. All different varieties of wood now. Because, yeah, that might be a thing. Yeah, if I go back the other way, it's just wood. Okay. It's probably taking all the chisel wood and stuff, too, because I doubt there's that many varieties of wood in the back. Um, I was looking at these, too, and they say they need a 7x7 seven seven too high area. So I'll probably cut down these trees real quick and uh, clear us some space here. Then we'll get them going. I don't think there's really much very special to get going, you know, with these. I think they're pretty much just set down. As long as you have them in the right spot, they work. As long as they have a horse horse uh kind of attached with lead but uh, we'll see how that goes i've never actually seen anyone set this this, this up before right so i have uh, seen it running so i've seen the horse kind of just walk into a circle and they're coast to straight but i did that's all i've pretty much ever seen about this so i guess we'll get to see how it is do that there we go we got some space don't know if it's going to care about grass i know some mods do some don't some don't care about translucent blocks. There, there we go. So let's go grab a horse, I guess, first. Let's go grab one of you. Eh, get in there. I guess I could, I could just ride you out, right? Probably the easiest way. Sweet. Bring you over here. And uh, let's find a space for you. So horse, or what is this one called? I keep calling it the wrong thing. Horse chopping block. Okay. So a seven by seven. One, two, three, four. Four. Right there, right? That looks like it should be right. Let's get a lead attached to this guy. See if we can get him to uh, bend to our will and do what we want him to. Come on. Get over here. And uh, probably need some wood, right? So let's put a wood in there. And he's starting to walk in circles and it's starting to move. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. I really like that. That's neat. That's a really cool concept for automation right there. Huh. That's neat. It's so simple. Curious if we can uh, kind of automate the uh, export of items. Let's do that. Break you. And that. Kind of let him go. It's not very quick, and he seems to be walking really wonky. <laughs> Whatever reason. I don't know if it's because I was there and it messes with his pathing, maybe. I have no idea. Oh, chopped it. 
and it pulled it out. That is cool. That's funny though, if you get too close, it's like they pay attention to you. Have to like back off. Oh, he doesn't have any wood. <laughs> That's probably what the problem is. Let's uh grab a grass block, fill that in, because we don't need that. And kind of come up here. Um, actually, we might be able to do it like this. Let's try that. And oh, you can't access the inventory on these hoppers. That's a little strange. I wonder, I'm getting invalid. So apparently, if there's something messing with it, it must be the dirt blocks. I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's not the hopper, but I guess we'll find out here in a second. Let's uh, do that. Let's throw some wood in. And let's break this and see if the thing kind of just goes. And it is. Awesome. That is amazing, actually. <laughs> That's going to make the wood chopping really simple. Something, especially wood. I mean, with grinding, sometimes you only need to grind one or two things. So the metal one's fine. But this one, I mean, wood. Usually you want to do it in giant big bulk batches anyway. And uh, yeah, then you won't have to worry about it. That is actually pretty sweet. I like that. Let's try something else here. So... I'm not really sure what the horse press is for. Maybe the grindstone. The grindstone would be... Four? Two by two? Oh, this one's not too tall. I wonder if this one has float. Let's try that. Go there. That? Okay, that worked. I don't know if it's too close to that one, though. I mean, it's not saying invalid, but it doesn't mean that the horses are going to path right either. Maybe there? Try that. How far is he walking? He's walking two out, right? Okay. Let's try that. Give it a go. And uh, grab another horse, I suppose. <laughs> Put in the work. Eh. I'm gonna need some more horses, but that's not too big a deal. Probably two more. And actually, before we do this one, let's sleep really quick. I'm gonna sleep in the horse pen, because that's where we sleep these days. <laughs> and uh, I wanna put the card on him first, before I actually hook him up to the machine, just to see how that works. So. Anyway, let's get you, because here, let's get you jumped out. Must still have a log in there as well. Must be a thing. Yes, there we go. Oh. Uh, what? Oh, I thought his saddle was gone. I was just like, where'd this third horse come from? Anyway, let's go over here, and uh, let's try this card. So, the card says on it, use the Ast Astacore action key. To attach to horses. I've already rebind that key. Um, I think it was semicolon. And that's something I always use for my map. So I just temp typically whatever I see it when I start a pack. I just change it. So I'm not sure how we link them up to this. Do we... that? No that's not going to work. Oh you can sit at the back of it. That's cool. Give me my lead back. Uh, this should have an inventory too right? Yes yeah, so I think we, we could just store everything in there right? Oh it puts items in the back. That's awesome. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool. Pull that out. Pretty cool little aesthetic mod. These mods never get to shine. Except for, like, a pack like this. Like, really awesome that he kind of went with these kind of mods. That never really get to see a lot of use in a lot of packs. Pretty neat. But, uh, I'm not sure. Maybe I have to write them. Let's try that. Go here. And try that key there. It was that, right? There we go. And... Yeah. We got a card, man. <laughs> I can just uh, travel around the countryside with my card, you know. Go to the market. I can sell my wares. And, uh, you know, <laughs> bring home all my treasures. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. I like that. That's going to make moving the base much easier. So I'm actually cool with that. Ooh, he just twitched out really bad. Anyway, that is cool. And, uh, break this. Oh, it sounds like it breaks like a boat. There we go. Sweet. That's actually awesome. Okay, let's get him hooked up to this other machine here. And uh, put him in work. There we go. Oh, I do have a lead. And there. There we go. Shouldn't need this anymore. Awesome. And I will automate this one. I just think I'll kind of make the stuff in between videos. But uh, what do I got to grind? Grind a wheat. Let's see if he works. He looks like he's going to walk. I may want to move him one more across though. Because he is bumping into the other horse. Oh. You guys calm down, man. None of these have grown up yet. They still need to grow. Oh, they really want the wheat, though. That'll make them grow up faster, but... <laughs> don't really want to spend it on that. Okay, cool. Pretty awesome. Okay, let's uh, set up this third one. I'm not even sure what this one's for, so... Yeah, let's see here. Use on it. 
So apparently I can take coal and turn it into a restricted item. Um, actually, this one I don't think gave me a quest. What did it need? Press charcoal into a larger block using the horsepower press. Okay. Let's see here. So charcoal. It was... That must be charcoal there. So coal. How do I even get coal? I haven't got any coal yet. Let's go coal. Check that out. Is it the millstone? No. It's not the kiln. We don't have ores. Nope. Oh, I, no. It was charcoal, wasn't it? Yeah, charcoal. I'm looking at the wrong thing. That's the problem. Okay, so low-grade charcoal into charcoal. Okay, maybe we'll go do that, because that's actually a quest, right? And that did grind things down, and uh, we got ourselves flour, so that's pretty cool, too. Okay, awesome. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> These things actually work really simple. I wasn't sure if they're going to be complicated, anything like that. I didn't think they were going to be complicated, but at the same time, you'd never know uh, if they have, like, weird little functionality. Um, what's the next thing I needed? Oh, I needed uh, coal, so we need... What was low-grade? It was just wood, wasn't it? I think that's all that was, right? Wood in kiln. <laughs> so we'll get uh, three of these going. We can automate these things later with a particular hopper. Uh, I think it's called like fire hopper. What is that one called? This one here, the flame grilled hopper. But you need these gems and apparently they're really hard to get. And I'm um, definitely going to be doing them in between episodes because you have to go to the dark lands um, and fight a whole bunch of mobs, like a lot, to get enough of the smaller gems to be able to combine them in one of the machines I'd have to look and uh, I'm actually kind of curious now which machine it is go here go to recipe oh it actually is the press so it's done in the press it takes these here which are the smaller ones so you have to fight a bunch of the like I said the abyssal craft mobs mobs and um, I think you actually get you go to here go to recipe a lot of times you get these smaller ones so these little tiny ones so it can actually take up to 81 of them. So, yeah. Definitely a thing. Do that. We can get the horse to grind this down, I suppose. Be pretty neat. Get that going. Oh, we get our first big buffalo. I'll we'll have to take a look. So those there. He'll do that thing. That is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, we got our first big guy. They get really massive, actually. Should be able to breed those two. Do you and you. And I want to get these guys bred up a lot before I actually do anything with them. Yeah, I did get another baby. That's pretty awesome. Hurry up, man. Once you're done, I should be able to finish up the last one. You don't have a horse farm yet, but I should be able to move the horses. Maybe that far? I know, I'm going to have to find out the best spread. I don't know if they work fast or if they're like walking on their pathing or the pathing is just kind of a decoration, you know what I mean? And it just goes, horse on lead, I will work. <laughs> Guess I could watch it for a bit and see kind of when the blades move and stuff like that. Yeah, it seems to be just moving. Pretty steady? I don't know, it could be like set up like a clock too, I guess. You never really know. Yeah, see, when he crosses the back, the 12 o'clock, it looks like the blade drops. Okay. That's neat. I think he's only done one so far. Come on, man. Oh, we got the rest of them. I should be able to uh, breed them, too. Get some more babies going. If I can find the other one that uh, was just born. There we go. And that is pretty awesome. Their heads are so massive. Like, look at that. Just ridiculous. <laughs> Did you get another one yet? This guy's going slow. This one takes a while. So, this one I wouldn't probably automate. Like, I mean, if I was doing a large batch or something, it'd be worthwhile. As long as I didn't need it in the next 10 minutes. Um, otherwise, I'd probably just use the hand grindstone. And okay, our last charcoal's done. We should be good there. We should be able to take that and throw it in the press, I think. Oh, it took nine immediately. That's cool. And then I think we can just shift and pick up the lead, right? And then put the lead there. And uh, he should make that uh, block of charcoal for us. That is pretty cool. This one's animated, uh, animated as well. This one didn't seem to have any animation. That's pretty cool. Something I was just thinking was uh, these cards, man. If you really wanted to, you could just use this, just make the card and just use it as storage. I don't know how compacting you can get them, but that'd be actually pretty funny. Because uh, they actually have a really big inventory. That is like almost five chests, I think. Around five. Yeah, close to five chests. About four and a half chests. 
That is uh, pretty decent. Not bad at all for the resources they take, because they only take two and a couple of these. Just wood, right? Oh, that took no time at all. Oh, it's right there. There we go. There we go. We got the last one. Pressing your luck. <laughs> Gotta love those freaking puns. And, uh, yeah, we done pretty good here. We, we done good. And, uh, I think I may kind of wrap this one up here. I mean, we've kind of run the gambit and done everything we could, I think, at this point. This one is going to take me, I heard, just from, you know, people talking. This Dark Gems quest could take anywhere from one hour to three hours. So, I'm, I'm ready for that. You know what I mean? I, I don't know if it was to do the quest or get enough that you need to get to the next stage. I'm not, I'm not really sure. Uh, I know we need it for these uh, flame world um, goodness, but uh, I'm not sure what else. And then this one here, we need buffalo teeth. But, uh, or was it? Buffalo teeth? I think it was teeth. Yeah, buffalo teeth. But I don't actually want to start killing off my buffalo until I have a good amount of them. Because that's going to get us into better with mods. And we're going to end up probably needing more of those gears is what I'm thinking. Right? Unless there's a secondary way to craft them after you do it. Good use. Oh, no, not use. Oh, you can make it with a saw. Okay, so whatever this item is, I guess we can do gears that way. So you really only probably have to craft a couple with the buffalo teeth then. That makes sense. And I guess the last one, I'm just kind of looking at the quest here. That is that one. This is a boss battle. I won't be doing that one right away because he's going to shoot me with arrows. It's going to hurt. And okay, I think we're going to wrap this one up here. I'm just going to let everyone know that I do have a Discord. If you want to stop on by, say hello, any of that jazz, feel free. Everyone is welcomed. Uh, just keep classy. That's all that I ask. It's uh, down in the description, of course, the link. Um, I do have a Patreon if you want to check that out. See if you know, want to think about supporting me moving forward, making videos. Be absolutely wonderful. want to thank all my current Patreons. You guys all rock and I love you. Seriously, it's just, you guys are great. But uh, I am going to end this one here. So as always, you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It is much appreciated. I want you guys all to have a good one. I'll see you guys next video. Later.